Okay, I'm gonna make another video here today. Um, this is not about any algae problems. Uh, I'm actually getting over that now in this aquarium. Um, another thing I like to talk about is uh, food. Basically, um, everybody knows it's expensive for frozen brine shrimp, um, blood worms, etc. So, a uh, cheaper way of feeding my fish is brine shrimp eggs. Now, I've been hatching these out and uh, it only takes 24 hours to hatch them out so you make a simple salt solution that's what I got here you would aerate this just with a uh, you don't need a stone just a simple straw or throw a tube in there and aerate it while it's bubbling and then uh, you throw in your brine shrimp eggs so from brine shrimp direct I got these from Salt Lake City I just ordered them online uh, 16 ounce can I think it was like 30 bucks or something no big deal um, there's millions in here, man. There's tons. I haven't even scratched the surface of making it too much of a dent in this can. I've hatched out millions upon thousands of these things. It's just, just crazy. Anyway, so I have some already, already done here. I got a light test to, uh, to bring the noplii, I guess they call them, to the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into this tank I have already have here. It's uh, just a Tetra water home. I uh, filled it with salt water specific gravity on this guy on my hydrometer I keep it at uh, 1.021 they will handle higher salinity in the water but uh, right there is usually ideal um, I found it took me a few grow outs to finally get them to stay like to stop dying off and live in this tank well the only thing I've done is clean this out and I fed the previous batch to my fish and this is what I do, I grow up my own food in this tank and I'm going to show you guys just pretty much how simple it is to do this. It's not too hard to grow them out. Um, I'm just going to insert the straw and use it as vacuum to pull them up right from the bottom here where the light is on. I know you can't see that. So, and just let go of the top. See, I just take my finger off the top and it creates a vacuum and pulls them up in. I'm just going to drop them right in here and then you can use the same method to feed your fish if you've got uh, baby fry and I've done so. Actually uh, most of these angels right here I have were my last batch of fry. These two uh, golden angels here are the parents and the rest of them that are their color are their children and these two here are another mated pair and between the two pairs these are all their children so I've actually uh, hatched out some fry and kept what I wanted and then I got my discus and all my buddies there and uh, when I fed them when they were babies I used the same method by feeding them with a straw and tube and hatching these out when they wanted so now what I've got in here is baby brine shrimp and I'm going to continue to do, uh, do this step here. I'm using the light to draw them to the bottom. I'll suck them up with a straw and put them in here. A lot of these will die off but the ones that remain will uh, keep going and they self replicate and they just keep producing and laying their own babies so once you get a colony going that it's stable uh, they will go and this is uh, what I do to uh, feed my fish. I grow my own brine shrimp out for food. So I just thought this would be uh, quick little video I'd show you guys if uh, it's another alternative to feeding your fish it's good for your fish so I give them brine shrimp uh, frozen plankton and uh, blood shrimp or uh, not blood shrimp but uh, sorry blood worms so uh, yeah this is basically what I do and then I grow my own brine shrimp I don't buy the frozen brine shrimp I just grow my own and yeah that's the end of this video hopefully uh, it gives you an idea of how simple it is and I'll talk to you later